Number Chains is a two-player addition and logic game. To play, you'll need the 10x10 Think Square grid and the Think Square overlay on top of that. You'll need to create a stack of numbered tiles. So just write the numbers on with permanent marker and you can use whiteboard marker to rub them off afterwards and some rubber bands. The aim of the game is to create puzzles for your opponent. Each puzzle needs to be completed by joining things so that they add to 10. So here is an example of a solved puzzle. And the idea is that each chain adds to 10. And none of the chains can overlap. So see here that six could go with four, but if it did, it would break eight and two's chain. So six instead has to go with a three and a one in this case. So I'll start with an easy puzzle here. We'll do it on a six by six grid. So we'll make the border here. So you can just let your opponent know how big your grid's going to be. And then place a set of numbers for your opponent to connect to make each group add to 10. So I'll refer to the book to make one. And they start really easy in the book and they get a bit hard by the end. So let's try this one. Once you've finished your puzzle and checked to make sure it's possible, give it to a friend who then has to make groups of 10 by joining numbers with the rubber bands. So here, we need to join the nine and the one. Uh, and if we do that, and they can only join by going sort of at 90 degree angles. So there's a join there. But if we join those two numbers together like that, we've cut off three with seven and six with four. So nine and one can't join in that way. So we've got to rethink that. Let's go, we'll start with maybe six and four. So we'll go from here We'll go around the corner and join the four like this. And then maybe we'll go the three and go around the back to here and then get to the seven that way. And now nine and one can join by going around the outside like this. And now we've joined everything and they all add to 10, so that's a solved puzzle. When you get better at this game, you can start increasing the size of the grid from a six by six to a seven by seven, all the way up to 10 by 10. When you do that, you would add a few more numbers and make things a bit tricky. And maybe instead of adding just two numbers to get to 10, you might create a puzzle so that an opponent has to add, say, three numbers. So you might have a five, but there's no other five there, so you might just have a three and a two. And all of those might have to be joined in some way to create a path that adds to 10. So the idea is to create your own puzzles. We've got a few templates which you can see online via this following link. Uh, otherwise, enjoy making puzzles for one another.